This is going to be my review on the Shengxiao 5x5 cube. I received this from Cube Mart a little while ago. Uh, at the end of the video, there will be a link to the unboxing if you would like to see that. Uh, first impressions of this cube were great. It turns super smooth on all of the layers, especially when I lubed it with Lubix. Uh, but coming like factory from the box, it was very, very good already. Um, it's just an extremely smooth cube. Uh, I do find that tensioning it can be a bit of a problem. As you can see, when I do a U-turn, it, it goes a little bit further than square. And I don't really like that because the cube does not cut corners very well. So you have to be very accurate and it's just very easy to overshoot. Now you may be thinking, why don't you just tighten it? Well, I've tried that before I've taken the center caps off and I've tightened it, but there's a, there's a, a fine line between too tight and just right and loose. And this is too loose, but when I tighten it, um, it'll just be super tight and then it's barely movable. If I unloosen a little bit, it goes back to this. So for tensioning, um, it's not that great. Um, maybe it's just this cube. I don't know if you have one of these. Can you please leave a comment and let me know if you've had this problem, if you have fixed it and what you did. Um, or maybe yours is exactly the same, I'm not sure. But uh, like I said, the corner cutting is not that great. Um, it's maybe half a cubie or so. Um, I had higher expectations from what I've seen on the internet. Like I said, uh, my cube might be faulty. I am getting another one in the mail, a black one. So uh, we'll see if that one is the same. Um, so yeah, the turning is great on this cube. Um, it's extremely fast. And uh, I thought that I was gonna like this more than the V-Cube 5 when I, when I first got it out of the box. But uh, it, that was my first impression. And after a few solves, it did not last. It is a very good quality cube. It's only $10. Whereas the V cube is, I don't know, like $30 or something like that. Um, I will be showing you the internal mechanism now. Um, I will be comparing it again to the V cube five. So you can see, because there are a lot of rumors out that the Sheng five by five is a knockoff of this cube. And we will, well, I will determine that in my opinion, after I show you these pictures. Okay. Here's the first picture. The Sheng is on the left and the V cube is on the right. I've uh, dismantled half of it and right away you can see the similarities between the pieces. The only difference I can see so far is on the center cap. Um, it just seems to be sticking out a little further on the Sheng Shao. Okay, again the Sheng Shao is on the left and these are corner pieces and you can see that the tip of the corner um, on the inside edge is actually not there on the Sheng Shao, which is weird. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, it's a hollow space in the cube. So I'm not sure exactly why they've done that. Okay, this is an outside edge piece. Sheng Shao is on the left. And as you can see, um, the inside of the piece is kind of flared out a bit. And uh, when you look at the pieces on the inside of the cube, that flare, it, it's, uh, it's kind of like an anti-popping thing. And it stops the cube or the piece from being able to pop out like they do on the V-Cube. Here are the pieces from the side, same pieces. Uh, you can really notice the similarity of these pieces from this angle. Okay, these are the center middle pieces. Uh, they are very similar as well. These are the center corner pieces. Uh, Sheng Shao is on the left again. Um, as you can see, they're pretty much exactly identical. Okay, maybe not exact, but very, very close. Okay, these are the outside center edge pieces. Uh, Sheng Shao is on the left, and you can see how much smaller it is. It's very rounded on the inside corner there. Um, but again, it is the same principle. So in my opinion, I think that the Sheng Shao 5x5 is not quite a knockoff, um, but it is from the same idea. What they've done is they've taken the mechanism and the pieces from the V-Cube 5, and they've altered it a little bit. Now, altered it as in made it better? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, adding those extra little wing pieces so it doesn't fly out. Um, I think that is the part of the reason why uh, it doesn't cut corners as good as the V-Cube 5. Um, but anyways, I do think that is a very good cube, um, especially for the price. And I will do a solve now so you can see the quality of it and you can see how much it locks up on me.
All right, there we go. Um, it's actually a lot more difficult solving it with the camera in front of me like this than it is from the side. I'm not making excuses though. I know I'm not the fastest cuber in the world. Anyway, down to it, does, uh, does the Sheng Shao 5 live up to the V-Cube 5? Absolutely not, in my opinion. It is up there. Um, if you have a V-Cube 5 and uh, you're looking for a different 5x5, um, this could be an option for you. Um, actually, it's so cheap, I, I would recommend getting it. Um, although, I don't think that it lives up to the V-Cube uh, standard. Um, the V-Cube just has very, very good quality to it. So do I recommend you go out and buy this puzzle? I do recommend that you go out and buy this puzzle. It is still a fun puzzle, um, but because it's a knockoff of this, it'll never be as good as this, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.